At this time, the class of 2016 is proud to honor another of our co-valedictorians, Deanna Massey, who will be giving her speech entitled, Pop Quiz on Privilege. Just last week, I had to take a pop quiz for a college course. It was a very unusual quiz because at the end, you were supposed to know if you were privileged or not. I could not see how one quiz would determine if I had special rights or advantages that others did not. When I was done with all the questions, I still did not exactly see the point. When I got home, I opened my laptop and the quiz was still up, so I decided to take another look. I started to think about my graduating class and if we had special privileges based on this quiz. Some of the questions included things like, are your parents divorced? Do either of your parents have to work multiple, multiple jobs to support your family? Were you bullied because of your race or ethnicity? If you answered yes to any of these, you had to put a check in the not privileged box. Almost everyone in my class could answer yes to at least one of these three questions alone, defining them as not privileged in the eyes of society. It was painful to think about the different hardships that my class has had to face. With this harsh reality in mind, I realized something very important. I had never noticed that anyone was not privileged because we never acted like it. Every single person in my class worked hard and accomplished amazing things, regardless of their socioeconomic status, ethnicity, family life, and people simply telling them that they were not good enough. Had we not worked hard, we would not have five FFA state champion bowls, three league volleyball teams, three county academic decathlon trophies, one league and division soccer team, three league girls basketball teams, four league and three division girls track teams, and one league softball team. We never once let our disadvantages decide who we were to become. It doesn't matter if we are born with privileges, we make our own. In the eyes of society, we may not be considered privileged, but we have not once dwelled on what we were not given. So remember classmates, we have not allowed our hardships to define us or determine who we are. I challenge you, as you venture out into your next journey, do not forget your roots. Do not forget how hard you worked, and do not forget that you are privileged. To our teachers, thank you for helping us to become accomplished young individuals. You helped in shaping us to be what, would, what some would call powerhouses. We will never forget the impact that you made on us. To the underclassmen, let my classmates' unwavering resilience be an example as you continue through high school. Make every moment last, because before you know it, you too will be walking across this stage. Finally, to our parents, thank you for working hard to give us everything. We learned our determination by example, and thank you for raising us to be proud of where we come from and making us privileged to have you as our parents. Thank you. <laughs>